Hello and welcome to this new video in which I will try and show you how to use the Shelly dimmer uh, device which is a cheap Wi-Fi dimmer uh, how to use it uh, with domotics and how to set it up so uh, first you need to connect the Shelly dimmer uh, according to the manual so uh, well connect it to power and connect the light and then it will power up and I took a screen recording on uh, of the setup process on my phone. So once it powers up, it will create a Wi-Fi network, which is called Shelly Dimmer something. Uh, well, we want to connect uh, to that network and say, well, keep the network. And then we want to go to the IP address uh, 192.168.33.1 which uh, well is the uh, IP address uh, the default IP address of the Shelly uh, it will give you some error because it is not connected to the internet and we need to go to the internet and security uh, tab and then uh, tap Wi-Fi mode client uh, Tick the checkbox and uh, fill in your Wi-Fi uh, name and password. So I'll skip forward to the password and then hit save. And well, that just is it. <laughs> they made it really easy uh, to let it connect to your Wi-Fi network. So then onto your Wi-Fi network, uh, it has got an IP address from your router so you need to go look it up with some sort of tool or log into your router to get the uh, Shelly Dimmer IP address over here and well now this is just a basic web interface which which you can use to create all kinds of timers schedules modes and such you can do a whole lot of things with this and well uh, we are not going to use this. Um, they have a cloud app uh, which you can use if you do not have a home automation system like Domotics. Um, but we are going to uh, connect it with Domotics. And what we need to do for that is we need to go to the Internet and Security tab and then Advanced Developer Settings and Enable ex uh, Action Execution via MQTT. We need to enter our MQTT credentials. So mine is MQTT with a password. And we need to set our server IP address, which is 192.168.2. Well, let's keep the port because that's 2.211. So, and uh, we can leave the rest as default and hit save, which will now, uh, connects the Shelly dimmer to our MQTT server. If you do not have a MQTT server or host, uh, you need to watch a previous video which I made on that subject, creating a MQTT uh, server. Now that we have the MQTT all connected up, we are basically done uh, in the Shelly device itself. And we need the Domotics plugin, which is uh, well available on GitHub, uh, that is the Shelly MQTT Domotics Python plugin, and the Shelly is not yet uh, supported officially. But if we look at the issues over here, the Shelly dimmer dimmer support, there has been someone, uh, well, that added preliminary support. Um, well, the author still has one uh, on shipment, under shipping, but uh, well, it should be already in here. So we are going to need to log in via Putty into our Domotics machine, and we need to go to the Domotics plugins folder, and we need to well clone the github repository into this and just sudo service domotics restart 
and wait a little bit depending on the size of your installation this could this could take a while or be really quick and we need to go to our demotics instance and have a little bit more patience well uh, we need to go to hardware and if all's correct the shelly hardware Shelly MQTT, we need to enter our MQTT server address, which is in my case the same as my domotics address, so 192.168.2.2.11 MQTT. Uh, well, my, mine is MQQT, which I screwed up setting it over here. Well, Let's enter our password. Uh, well, I'm not going to uh, power re power reading. I want power me measurements, and I am going to add Shelly plugin. Add now. It should have created new devices. So let's check for that. Well. It has not yet. Let's see if we can find something that is doing over here. Shelly. It connected and did something. So, uh, yeah, Shelly plugin, Shelly dimmer which it already created and it's created a temperature uh, device which is the temperature of uh, the dimmer itself uh, well I'm not going to add that this time but I am going to scroll down and over here well it has a funny name which we can edit if we say edit uh, we say Shelly uh, dimmer one I'm going to call it <clears throat> and now we can control the bulb using the motics and well have everything you could uh, run into uh, one issue and uh, that is that you may seem to have a uh, uh, may seem to uh, see that it does not dim right so for that we need to alter a few things and we need to go into the settings and there is a thing called calibration over here and it's now set to trailing edge uh, well we can delete that calibration and it's now deleted and we can if I'm correct it should we should be able to calibrate our device yeah start calibration yes and now it will uh, well do all kinds of funny things uh, with your uh, lights but you need to wait a little bit and then it will set uh, well it will detect the steps of your light and it will dim correctly so uh well you just have to wait a little bit for this uh well to get done um but uh that's basically it so i'd like to uh, thank you for watching i hope you learned something from this video and i hope this was helpful and uh, please subscribe uh, like this video share it on forums or something people that have questions about this and, uh, well, I will hope to see you next time.